<laughs> Good morning. I need to like prop this up a little bit better. Hang on. There, that's better. So I'm having my breakfast. It's steak hash um, with two fried eggs and then a slice of sourdough bread with some goat cheese on it because mama likes some goat cheese. So I'm starting to vlog on, I'm gonna try starting to vlog again. Um, but I'm not using my phone anymore. I used to use this to vlog on, but I keep running into too many technical difficulties of transferring my footage over to my computer from my phone. <sighs> this phone is a piece of crap. It's old, it's a Galaxy S10, and um, it doesn't like to plug in anymore, and my OneDrive doesn't like to communicate very well, so here we are. So I'm gonna be vlogging on my mirrorless camera, and I know that the lighting is not great. I've been trying to mess with the functions of that like all morning, and it's just not working. Anyway, it's already 9.30 and I haven't had breakfast yet. This is late for me. I slept in till nearly seven o'clock, which is unheard of for me, but clearly I needed the sleep, so I'm not gonna complain about it. So today I'm gonna do my normal errands, which speaking of which, I need to actually do my ordering. I also want to run to my local library and I want to actually get myself a library card and not to actually physically go to the library. I mean, I might here and there every once in a while go to the actual library because I don't read very fast and when it comes to reading, I am definitely like a mood reader. I just, I, I think Libby is the better option for me and you have to have a library card in order to utilize Libby. Now, the reason I want to get Libby specifically, because there is a reason, is because I want to reread Animorphs. Now I know what you're thinking. Aren't you rereading them as the graphic novels are coming out? Yes. And also, don't you own the entire book series? No. <laughs> um, I used to. I used to own. Well, that's not entirely true. There were a few that Nikki got and then we would just share Animorphs. So towards the end of the series, no, I did not own some of them. But now I'm trying to locate all of the books. I think I'm missing like five at this point. But the other issue is um, I have packed all of my Animorphs books away. Because if you don't know, I'm moving. Not far, literally just upstairs. <laughs> and my parents are moving down here. And had my last couple of vlogs worked out, you would have seen me actually packing. And I've packed a lot of things. I've packed away all of my books, except for the ones I think I might read over the next couple of months, plus ones that I've purchased since then. All of my DVDs, except for, obviously again, shows that I might watch in the next couple of months. I also have come to the realization that I really like audiobooks. <laughs> I used to really shy away from them and only just because like, um, I like to have a video, like, yeah, like if I'm like podcasts, for example, right? My mom and I are, are watching Smallville. She's watching for the first time. I'm rewatching it for the first time. I've not seen it since, um, it first originally aired and then, uh, Shortly after, well, it was like six or seven years after it aired, after it finished airing, was when the whole scandal with Nexium came through, and um, my my favorite actor or my favorite character's actor was heavily involved in that. So when I found out that Smallville was streaming, I just didn't want to watch it. Anyway, Michael Rosenbaum and Tom Welling are doing a podcast, a rewatch podcast, much like Drama Queens, which I do also listen to on a weekly basis. So it's called Talkville. It's a Smallville rewatch podcast with um, Michael Rosenbaum and Tom Welling. Played Lex Luthor. M Michael Rosenbaum played Lex Luthor. Tom Welling played Clark Kent. They're doing that. They're doing this, you know, podcast. Obviously, it's available like on Spotify and I could be listening to it, but I watch it, you know, because I just like having a visual element when I'm listening to something. I always shied away from audiobooks for that purpose. Over the last couple of years, I've come to realize I really like audiobooks, which is really a bummer because I can't afford to produce an audiobook. So like as much as I would love to have an audiobook of Deep Water, I cannot afford that. So buy my book and maybe eventually I'll be able to afford it. That's the one really big benefit of like traditional publishing is you don't have to pay for that kind of stuff. Anyway, sorry, I did not mean to turn this into a full on mukbang, but here we are. The reason I want to reread Animorphs and not only just because I really love the story, but because I've been struggling so hard with the trilogy that I want to write, the sci-fi, young adult sci-fi trilogy that has been in my head since I was a teenager. And it was partially inspired by Animorphs and partially inspired by Power Rangers because those were things I liked as a kid and into my teenage life and into adulthood, they were sci-fi media that really captured me and really inspired me, um, along with Beast Wars, because honestly, Beast Wars is the best Transformers um, media out there. 
Um, I'm not wrong. It's not an opinion. It's an objective fact, okay? <laughs> Actually, me wanting to reread Animorphs comes in twofold, but we'll get there. My thought is I've been so enveloped with Power Rangers over the last 10 years of my life, watching all the new seasons and even getting into the Power Rangers community here on YouTube, that kind of thing, I think really took out the grittiness that I want from Animorphs that I want in that series. And so I think, as I've been thinking about that series a lot lately, because I really want to get to it. I really want to write it because the thing is, what I want to do is write the whole thing, write all three first drafts before I even think about releasing the first book, because I want to be able to have the whole story out there in my, it, you know, written and figured out so that something that happens in book one, you know, leads to something in book three, right? And I don't want to run into plot holes. I want the whole thing, like pretty much, well, the whole thing written, right? Not done, but written. And so then I can go back to book one after book three is done. I like the first draft of book three is done and then go back to book one and edit that as I need to release that, then edit book two, release that, edit book three, release that, right? Hopefully over the course of three years, release all three of them. So book one will come out one year, the following year book two, then the following year book three. There might be a fourth book, I don't know, it'll be if anything, it's a prequel and it's a novella and it basically leads up to what happens in book one, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually do that or not. It would be very C.S. Lewis of me, <laughs> very Narnia of me. What I'm kind of thinking is if I reread Animorphs and I get back into the darkness that that book series was, that that might help inspire stuff and help me write this trilogy better. I need to finish the first draft I'm working on now um, before I can really start to dive into that because I'm my all of my creative energy is going into this first draft that I'm currently writing. Anyway, long story long, um, I want to reread Animorphs to try and get the grittiness back. Another reason I want to reread Animorphs is because I want to bring back an old series I used to do on this channel called Nostalgia. But what I used to do was I would just think about something that I watched when I was young and go, oh my God, I loved this so much. Now what I want to do is I want to do it very similarly to what I did with like my rant out of love for Turbo and my rant out of love for the 20th anniversary special of Power Rangers and like do a deep dive, right? So like right now I'm rewatching Facts of Life and that's really getting me thinking like what aged well, what didn't age well, what was kind of ahead of its time, you know, that kind of thing. Being that Facts of Life came out in the 80s, I watched it in the early 2000s, and, you know, I think that it would be really fun to do that. And so I'm thinking about doing that with Animorphs, and I'm thinking about doing that with Beast Wars, I'm thinking about doing that even with Smallville. Like, I started thinking about doing that with the idea of Smallville, even, as Mom and I have been watching it, being like, I kind of want to talk about it now. Not doing, like, episode reviews or anything like that, but, like, when Mom and I are done with Smallville, which is going to be a while, because we only watch two episodes a week, Sometimes we'll watch more, um, but for the most part, two episodes a week. And there are like 10 seasons of it. So hooray for us. It's gonna take a minute to get through. But either way, I wanna bring back nostalgia and talk about the things that I used to watch as a kid or a teenager or whatever, and do like a deep dive of like how I feel about it now as an adult. And not only just as an adult, but as an adult who has studied film. Cause same about last time I watched Facts of Life, I hadn't studied film, specifically the concept of what was going on at the time, or, right? Like what politically was going on at the time, what socially was going on at the time, what helps push narratives, right? Like when Facts of Life gets, gets political, because it does, it gets political, um, but when it gets political, like what about the time that was going on, like what helped guide that, right? And now I understand those things because that's one of the things you learn about in film history and film criticism is the time period that that film took place, what helped guide that narrative? Like, why was it that, you know, Marvel blew up, right? Marvel was this, like, superhero movies blew up, right, while Obama was president. Why? Because we felt like, you know, a lot of people in the country felt like he was that hero, right? Because he was a he was a breath of fresh air after eight years of Bush and war, right? And um, granted the wars continued, but still, I digress. I could go further into detail, but I'm not going to right now because I want to finish my breakfast. But that's those are my thoughts. That's why I want to reread Animorphs. And so I'm gonna get Libby account and listen to the audio. <laughs> long story long. So that's one of my big plans today. I also want to write a lot today because I am so close to the end of the f this first draft for this com this romance I'm writing, which will be my second romance I bring out into the world. It still doesn't have a name. I have no idea what I'm calling it yet. 
I have no idea what I want the cover to look like. I have no idea about anything aside from, I just know what the story is about. But I'm in kind of that final push of a story. I'm at the end of the story at this point. And so I'm very excited because I'm so close to the end of this. Um, and it's been a journey. My writing has been a journey lately because I wrote a whole other first draft. If you've been following my live streams with Kay, you'd know that. I wrote this whole first draft. Every time my phone buzzes, I'm like, oh, it's messing up my vlog. I'm like, <laughs> you probably don't even hear it because I'm not vlogging on my phone. I wrote this whole first draft for a book that I was very excited about. I built the book around the name because I said something and I was like, that's a, per that's a really great book name. And so I built this story off of this name of this book and I wrote the whole first draft. And then I started working on the second draft by, so I do is I write the first draft and I then sit on it for a few months just so that when I return to it, I'm a little newer to the story and I'm able to pick out stuff that throws me out or plot holes or things like that. When I was about halfway done doing that, when I realized I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, I like it. It's fine. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a good story. I like my writing. I just wasn't feeling connected to it. And that already took me like a year to write. I wish I was kidding. It took about a year of my life to finally go, I really don't care about this anymore. If you go back to this video here, where I went to Nashville to go see Into the Woods, which was a year ago in May, I talk about writing and how I'm vlogging the experience of writing a book, because that was the plan. I was going to make a whole video from, I picked the idea, I wrote the first draft, and then I was going to vlog the whole journey. And I still might do that at some point with a book, but I need to be a little more consistent with, with release uh, until, uh, for that to make sense. And I started, and so like that was the book I was writing, was this one that I, uh, that I've shelved for now. I was writing the first draft of that book at that point. And I only just gave up on it. Like, um, I don't know, I'd have to go back and look at the live streams, but earlier this year, I think I started it in January of 2023. That was when I started it. Then I started this one. And this one, I've been more consistent with writing every day. I've definitely missed a few days here and there, but I've been more consistent. I'm a little over 50,000 words, but I still want to get it done so I can plan because when you write a sci-fi, you can't just do what I do with romance and just write and hope it all works out in the end. Like you have to world, world build. You have to figure out where these characters are, where these characters are from. You can't just sit down and write. <laughs> Maybe some can, I cannot. I'm not one of sci-fi. I need to plan that out. <sighs> I'm gonna make me work this year at all. Cause last year was a was very eye-opening for me. <sighs> I've been talking for way too long. So I'm gonna finish my breakfast and um, I'll catch you guys when we're out and about for the day. I liked everybody in the performances that you know what? One, one rose. Right. Uh, I'll give it a half a rose. Half a rose. Half a rose. Yeah. The leaves are already changing color. So mom and I are at Normandale Lake here in Bloomington, Minnesota, and we're gonna go take a nice leisurely stroll around the lake. Normandale Lake used to stink. And then they drained it, and then they filled it again. It's a man-made lake, so. And it's barely a lake. It's yeah, it's more just like a pond, so. Mom, that was your first time around Normandale Lake, right? Yeah, I've not done that before. No? I've not done that. It's awesome. It's really fun. It yeah, again. it's really pretty. It's not pretty. No. <laughs> We're ready to go home. Yeah. Well, I have my errands to run, so on to the next thing. So I'm back from my errands. I ended up putting my hair back in a ponytail because it is hot out there and it's not great for somebody with long hair. Um, 
So I got myself some Jimmy John's for lunch. I got myself a regular, which is just, um, it's the Beach Club on sliced wheat instead of a hoagie bun. I'm, I, I don't mind hoagie buns, but a lot of times if I want a sandwich, like I want a sandwich, you know what I mean? Not a hoagie. So, um, so yeah, it's delicious. I love this sandwich so much and there's so many good nutrients in it and stuff. Mm, love it. And I also got myself some jalapeno chips. I don't know if I'm gonna eat them though because I'm not like super hungry. And then I did get myself a dessert for lunch, a, a lunch dessert, which is their fudge brownie. <sighs> and I also just have my water right here. So it's almost three o'clock and I haven't had I haven't had lunch yet, about to sit down and have that. I haven't written at all today, but that's okay because you know, first I slept in, which felt good. Got a good workout in, good kind of just lazy breakfast time. Um, I didn't have to make breakfast. I had to, I had to toast the toast and I had to make my eggs, but my dad had already made me the steak hash. So I was like, oh, that was sweet. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to go and make myself breakfast. So it was very nice that he thought ahead to make me breakfast this morning because we usually do have breakfast together on the weekends, my, fam my parents and I, but my dad has to work because he has to work the state fair. He works in, a, in an industry that he has to work uh, not at the state fair, but he has to work over the state fair. So um, the great Minnesota get together, which I avoid. Maybe next year, if you guys are curious about the state fair, maybe next year I'll go to the state fair um, and vlog it. I usually don't go to the state fair because I don't usually feel good there because there's just too many people and I've been pit pocketed before. So don't love it. But now that I've got a phone, where is my phone? I might have left it upstairs, oops. But now that I have a phone that has like a se secret compartment, but like has a compartment in there for like, for like my ID and card and cash. And I usually don't carry cash anymore. I was pit pocketed when I was in high school. Um, so, you know, I don't even have to bring like a purse with me. I would just have my phone and my phone would just be in my pocket. Um, so, you know, there's that. But yeah, if you guys are curious about the Minnesota State Fair, because apparently it is a well-known thing. Um, also going on right now is the Ren Fest, which I've also never been to, but I have tons of friends that work the Ren Fest. He was leaving just as I was waking up. I heard him leaving so but he made me breakfast which was nice but yeah I had a nice lazy morning and then my mom and I went out for that walk with Apollo we went out for that walk around Normandale Lake which takes about an hour or so to walk and I have my errands so there we go I also got this which I'm very excited about um this was waiting for me when I got home from Normandale the limited edition 20th anniversary vinyl for Wicked ah you guys don't know I'm a big theater nerd, a big musical theater nerd, and Wicked is like my fa my second favorite, well, second or third favorite show, depending on um, how I feel about the Lion King Broadway show. Um, but they're pretty much tied for second place. But yeah, so I'm gonna eat this, watch some YouTube. Then Mom and I are actually gonna go to Menards. She has some things she needs to pick up from Menards. Menards is like, because I don't think it's, it's I don't think it's countrywide. Menards is like Home Depot um, or like Lowe's. I think Lowe's is a better example of what Menards is, if you're not familiar. And so I'm going to also look for paint samples for uh, when I repaint upstairs. And now when I move upstairs, I'm gonna be painting probably by myself. My plan was to actually hire professionals and have the whole first level painted and then I would paint the upstairs by myself because that would, would be simple. Um, because the upstairs is teeny, <laughs> literally teeny. It's a half story. Um, so, that was the original plan to have it all done at once, but I just can't afford that. So I'm gonna be painting room by room by myself. And so I'm going to paint and decorate one room at a time. I've kind of got my list in order of how I wanna do it. When it gets to the kitchen though, that I will have done professionally. So that I'm gonna save up for, and that'll be like the last thing I do, but I'll save up for that specifically. But where did I put the remote? Oh, my hair found it. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna um, turn on some YouTube and eat my lunch. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Did that, did I ever record any of that? <laughs> Shoot, so apparently I didn't press record. I'm gonna drop things. So, um, just checking in. 
I got myself some wine. I did do like a, it took like a couple of videos, but a couple of videos of ever since the writing thing and uh, none of them actually recorded. So cool, love that for me. That happened when I was in Texas too. There was some B-roll footage that I collected, both Kay recorded or supposedly recorded and I tried to record some B-roll footage from when I was like trying in and out and Whataburger and um, camera didn't work, so. Anyway, I got some wine. Uh, I wrote for a couple of hours. I wrote, uh, how many words? Hold on, I put it on my Instagram stories because again, if you're following along on my uh, live stream with Kay, you would know that I'm updating my Instagram stories every day that I write. 1,685 words in that round, which is great because that's the kind of word, word count that I need for something like but I've not been getting that word count. Like last night I wrote just a little over a thousand, which I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and be like, that's a terror, that's terrible. It's a terrible, terrible word count. I don't care if I wrote, write 1000 or 100. Like writing every day or trying to write every day is the whole point. I'm trying to get myself into a really good habit of writing every day and that's what I'm working on. But being that I'm so close to at this point, I'm nervous that um, I can't get word counts like that on a regular day. So, but that's okay, because that's what the whole weekend thing is for. Like I look at weekends during NaNoWriMo as ketchup and I eat a lot of ketchup, so. Oddly enough, not on the weekends. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about at this point. So I wrote for a couple of hours and got a decent amount of words in. Um, I'm feeling really good about it, about the story. I'm getting close to the end. I have them in a really good place, which is where I'm gonna rip them apart for a, a third act, act breakup, kind of. It's, they have a third act tiff more than anything. Um, so I'm very excited to get to that point. Excited to write the end. And then I know there's stuff at the beginning that I wanna go back and add stuff to. So I'm gonna try and read, well I will, go back and kind of read the beginning again and add things in as I see fit because I really need to add more of them at the beginning because I really want to make him a lovable asshole. Like I want the audience to really like him but also understand why she hates him. So the payoff of when they get together is a lot better. You know, that's kind of that's kind of my my thought process on that. So I gotta play with that a bit. But uh, I didn't realize how difficult it was gonna be to go back into the recesses of my trauma and pull out like pet smart stories of being mistreated and not I'm not having her being mistreated to the same level that I was mistreated at PetSmart. Um, you can check this video out right here. I'm not gonna have her be mistreated to the same level that I was mistreated, but I still want to pull some of that to really showcase just how difficult working in retail is and can be. So that's where I'm kind of at. But yeah, I'm in a good place. I got myself some wine and it's delicious. We got this new box. I have no shame about drinking bo box wine. Like I know there is some weird stigma about it. I drink bottles too. Like I drink really, you know, fancy bottles. Like I, I get Kevin O'Leary's um, wine, Mr. Wonderful from Shark Tank. I get his wine, which is okay. It's good. Like it's not the best wine in the world. I get his wine every Christmas and um, I also, you know, my parents get, you know, wine from this place. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out, but it's maybe, no, no. Mm. It's called Sovereign Estates. It's a winery here in Minnesota. It's Waconia, it says on the, on the glass. Um, it's in Waconia, my parents are barrel investors or were barrel investors. They have since received their barrel. So when you're a barrel investor, you basically buy a barrel and they make wine in your barrel. And we got some of it, we got some of that wine in the barrel and my parents also got to keep the barrel. I might save up and next year do a, wine, do a barrel. I think that'd be kind of fun. I think that would be a lot of fun. Either way, I do want to join their wine club so I can go with them on their little journeys. I still do go with them on their journey sometimes. I usually make short form content about um, going to Sovereign Estates, so follow my short form content areas. I mean, I guess this technically is also short form. I don't always remember to upload my shorts to YouTube, but I will always put them up on TikTok as long as we still have it, and um, Instagram. So follow me on those places, which you can always find my links below. And also where you can buy deep water, my book. So buy it. Because you know, I wrote a book. <laughs> Bye.
buy it. I'm just kind of sitting here and enjoying my my evening. Um, I do have my my fantasy draft soon, and I'm gonna do it virtually. I'm not gonna go to their party. If I did, I wouldn't bring my camera and vlog it because um, I don't know how comfortable they would they would be. They've got young kids at the house. Uh, the people who run the draft, they've got young kids at the house. Um, there might be another young kid that joins because of one of the people on our team, um, or one of the people not on our team but in our league. And um, the only person I know would feel comfortable is Nikki. She's the person who got me involved with this with this fantasy league um, when uh, one of their people dropped out of the league. We're about to have a meltdown. Nope. Okay. Okay. The two of them handled that fine. Anyway, the dog tried to approach the cat, and that's never that's never a good idea. We do have that draft tonight, but I'm going to do it virtually because I'm just I am. I'm so tired. I had a 45 minute workout this morning where I really pushed myself um, and because I'm trying really hard to up my strength right now. Um, so I really upped my, my workout today, which I love. I'm really glad I upped my workout today, but I had a nice 45 minute workout this morning and then I went on a two something mile walk around Lake Normandale in the heat and went on my errands and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready just to be kind of at home drinking my wine and enjoying it. Like that's why it took me so long. It's already 5.30. It's the whole reason it took me as long as it did for me to get wine because I was trying to decide like, was I feeling up to going there? I really don't feel up to going there, which is a bummer because I enjoy being there. Um, but I do go to their other parties, like their Super Bowl party. I did have to go last Super Bowl party because I won our fantasy league last season and um, I now have our cursed trophy. So, can't wait to get rid of that this year. <laughs> Mom is still not back. She went, um, she went to go pick up my dad. My dad's working today. She went to go pick up my dad and then they were gonna go to Costco and then they were gonna come and then she was gonna drop him back, back off at work and then she was gonna come home um, and then we were gonna go to Menards. That hasn't happened yet. So I'm guessing we're probably not gonna go to Mar Menards until tomorrow, which is fine. But that just means I'm not gonna vlog any of that. So stay tuned for next vlog because I do want to start doing more videos again. I'm gonna eventually work my way back up to weekly videos. So yay, um, where I'm kind of thinking I wanna do like for sure one vlog a month where I'm gonna go out and do something fun. Especially like during the summertime. Like I really want, oh. The door is opening up upstairs. Anyway, where I want to go out and actually like do fun things in Minnesota. Like I haven't been to Lake Itasca since I was a kid. Um, I'm writing about Duluth and I'm thinking, man, that would be fun to go and actually spend some time in Duluth. I did do a vlog about Duluth. Um, while well, I was up there last time I was actually like in in Duluth because um, I've been through Duluth since then. But um, now that my parents have a property not far from Duluth uh, on Lake Superior, I think it'll be fun to do some exploring Duluth stuff. Like I know this isn't in Duluth, but um, Jay Cook Park with the Swinging Bridge, like it'd be fun to go hiking there. And so I do want to try and do some fun things around Minnesota and try to do one fun thing a month where I can just go and have a nice fun filled day out, probably with someone, but um, you know, out like hiking or, you know, especially hiking because I love hiking and I love being outside. I love being in nature. Um, so. I don't know, that's one thing I wanna do. I still wanna get back into doing topical videos where I talk about geeky things. Um, I still want to talk about my writing life and do videos more like this, where it's my everyday life, but I'm also trying to become a full-time creative and doing all of those things and taking care of my animals, which is great. Um, and um, yeah, I'm, so I'm gonna try and work up to that, but anyway. A lot of the vlogs about my everyday life will either be about my author life or about me moving. So um, like I said, I did make a moving vlog not too long ago that will never see the light of day, unfortunately, because I just can't get this thing to transfer video footage. So, but it's feeling really bare in here. This is all the entertainment that I really have anymore. Um, that's it, like that's empty. That's empty. Where my manga is or was is all empty. I've just got boxes just littered everywhere. And then if you do come over here, you'll see all of these boxes around my elliptical. My elliptical is still usable. I use it every day. Um, but well, almost every day, every weekday, I get on it for two miles. 
Well, right now I'm running two miles, two and a quarter, two, two and a quarter mile. That's what I'm walking or running on my elliptical right now. I've got myself up to a 13 minute mile, um, which is good. I want to build that up eventually, but yeah. And then the kitchen is my current work in progress for packing. So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I want to document moving upstairs and I want to document redoing upstairs because I'm changing it from like North Woods to North Woods and then the kitchen is supposed to be like a Sicily thing um, to like Boardwalk Nautical. <laughs> So it's going to be fun. And um, so I'm going to say goodbye to this color, which makes me very sad because I love this color and I wish I could incorporate it, but it's not very nautical um, or at least the type of nautical I'm looking for, for sure. And of course, we're saying goodbye to the millennial gray. I want color back in my life. Millennial gray is over, friends. So stop painting your houses gray. Also, stop painting your kitchens white. But that's just a personal preference because like, do you actually cook? And do you have dogs or cats or children? And if you, if you answer yes to any of those, white kitchens are bad. They look great. They look very beautiful. And I make white kitchens all the time in The Sims, but that's because they don't get gross in The Sims. That's a digital place. Anyway, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing now because it's nearly six o'clock and uh, I have to do my fantasy draft in like a little under an hour, so. But yeah, so stay tuned. I'm hopefully gonna start putting up a few vlogs here and there throughout the months go coming forward um, whenever I feel like it. I guess um, somebody has to run to the store and get my dad a Powerball because he plays the lottery. I played the lottery last week, but um, my memory card filled up, so I needed to fix it anyway. So if I won the lottery, I would not be living in this house anymore. Do you, bub? I know, you were so excited Grandma's home. You love that grandma, don't you? So I guess I'll figure out what I'm doing, and uh, I'll pick up this vlog again if I write some more today. So I'm not gonna write anymore tonight. <laughs> so it's 9.30 now. I did my fantasy draft and I'm very happy with my players for this season. And then mom and I had dinner and we watched a couple more episodes of Smallville tonight and now it's 9.30 and I'm tired and I think I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. Maybe watch like one more YouTube video before climbing into bed for the night. But tomorrow I am going to write. I'm hoping, since I'm gonna be home all day, I think what I wanna do is write, do some writing sprints tomorrow, for sure. Um, there's one thing I have to do that is not work work related, but one of the things I do, I'm done with as of this year, after the end, at the end of this year, I'm done with it, which I'm very happy for because I'm very tired but um, of doing this thing, but um, there's one thing I have to do for that, but that'll take like 10, 15 minutes. It won't take very long at all, so. But my plan is to do some writing sprints. So usually what I do for writing sprints, sprints is I write for an hour and then I take a break for an hour or maybe a little bit longer depending on the situation, depending on how I'm feeling. But I write for an hour and then I take a break um, either to like clean or in this case pack or play The Sims, or just veg out, or go for like a walk, whatever. It feels so good because he doesn't know that word very well. He doesn't know that word. He doesn't associate that word with we are going for one. So I don't have to spell it anymore, which is nice. It was really weird because for the first like year after Cosmo died, um, I thought about that all the time. I was like, when I would say the word walk and I would, kind of like hesitate before saying it or I still spelled it for a little while actually and uh, so he doesn't associate that he associates other words with going places like going on walks and stuff he associates l-e-t-s-g-o <laughs> um as we're going for like a walk so that's what he reacts to um because it's not just walks, it's also going to Petco, going to PetSmart. Because um, yes, I do still shop at PetSmart. I don't hate the company, I just hate the people I worked for. Um, 
And the company actually did try to protect me when it came down to it. Um, and sometimes we go to daycare and sometimes we go on walks and sometimes we do other things, you know? Yes. You know, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Yeah. L-E-T-S G-O or space G-O, I should say. Um, just works better for him and that's what he reacts to instead of walk. Um, so that's what I have to spell now. Anyway, yeah, I know I, I spilled some hamburger juice on my shirt. Yes. Um, so anyway, he's... A good dog. You're a good dog. Mwah, I love you so much. Um, but yeah, so we're in a. I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm in a good place. Anyway, so I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Probably pack up some stuff. I need to pack up this entryway of mine because the entryway has gotten really messy, and only just because I've started to pack certain things, and now my cat has just gotten into stuff. And it's just created kind of a mess, but I might pack up the rest of the entryway tomorrow. Um, but there's really not much else to pack until it's like moving day. I mean, I could pack up like the decor on my walls, but like I want to still enjoy my time here, down here. So I don't think I'm gonna do that just yet. Um, but anyway, cause the bathroom's pretty much packed up except for what I'm gonna be using. The kitchen's pretty much packed up except for what I'll be using. And again, like, as far as like what I have for entertainment outside of streaming, um, that's all just, that's been decreased exponentially and everything else is packed. Um, there are definitely some things that I don't get to very often, like underneath Haro's tank here. There's some stuff down there that I still need to pack. There's stuff underneath um, Nodley's tank stand, which is just on the other side of Apollo's crate. But that's because I have to like move Apollo's crate to get to it. And usually when I'm packing, packing, I um, have had him uh, crated just for a little while as I'm kind of trying to like get through some stuff. And so that's been really tough um, because his crate is also really big and not the easiest thing in the world to move. I haven't moved it since I put it where I put it after Nodley died. If you don't know, Nodle was my bullfrog. I named her Nodle after a Gundam in Gundam 00. Um, but she died shortly before Cosmo did, a couple months before Cosmo did. I mean, even my clothes, like I've even weed weeded down my clothes to what I may or may not wear over the next couple of months. Like stuff that I normally wear. <laughs> and I bought a few new things, like this is something new that I bought. I don't even remember why. Oh, I do remember why. Because I, I do want to do a Disney bounding video and I'm probably going to start filming that. Maybe Monday. Um, I might film the first part of that on Monday. But I bought, not this one in particular, this is, I just really liked the gray one that I bought. So I just bought a bunch of other colors. <laughs> um, this one being one of them. But there's a Disney bound that I, I've, I have all the pieces to. I just need to like put it all together and see how it looks all together but I don't want to do that until I film the video and I have way too much curiosity uh, so I might film that on Monday we'll see we'll see we'll see how I'm feeling about it only problem is I mean I guess I could film it here because it's in front of my Disney wall so I guess it would make sense to film it like right here right in front of my Disney wall but um, I've been filming here since I put my elliptical over there uh, not here, but like actually like on the chase lounge uh, of my couch, which is falling apart because Apollo likes to rip things up. Um, and so if you've noticed, that's where I've done the majority of my videos, my topical videos is I sit on my chase lounge and I have my camera slightly out from there so you can see the couch behind me and the Disney wall behind me, which has helped me kind of figure out how I want to set up my filming stuff in the creative room upstairs. So because I have, I'll have two offices, I'll have my work work office, which is up upstairs. Um, I'm gonna have my creative office, which I'm just gonna call my creative room, which means if you're gonna go into my creative room, you're gonna be creative. You're not allowed to just go into that room and just do nothing. You gotta go in that room and be creative. So the leopard geckos have to learn how to be creative because that's where they're gonna live, <laughs> is in there. But, it's helped me kind of figure out 
how I want to set my filming stuff in the creative room. Um, so I'm kind of excited for that. But anyway, um, it's just gonna be really weird because part of it is gonna be filmed down here and the other part of it will likely be filmed in the creative room. So I'm also tempted to be like, I should probably wait until I'm in the creative room. So I might wait, I don't know. Either way, it's not coming out anytime soon. So I don't know, maybe I'll just wait till I'm upstairs. <laughs> but I have all the pieces to it. Literally have all the pieces to it. So um, anyway, I digress. It is time for sleep. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoy seeing like a daily life vlog like this where I show you my day but also like ha what I'm doing to be a creative person that kind of thing um I hope it works I'm filming on my actual camera camera only problem is now if I do that I can't do like b-roll of me filming I guess unless maybe if it's just one video it'd be a lot easier to fight with my phone to like get on to my computer to edit but we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to, like I said, just relax for a little bit, drink some tea. I do drink um, chamomile tea every night now. So I'm gonna brew some of that up and steep it and um, I'm boil some water. Well, it's not really boiling water. Don't just boil water. Tea needs to be steeped at different temperatures. So don't just boil water when you, when you make tea, okay? Do we have an understanding? Anyway. So, I mean, herbal tea is pretty close to boiling. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get some tea, some water heated up, steep some tea, watch a YouTube video before bed, and then um, go to bed. If you guys want to see the last daily vlog kind of thing that I did, like the last like day in my life, you guys can click right here. Um, if you want to see, um, I don't know, whatever the algorithm thinks is best for you on my channel, you guys can click right here and click here to subscribe to this channel and like this video, comment down below things you want to see coming going forward on this channel and um, I'll see you all next time. Bye!